Titans Go is rapidly approaching its 10th anniversary, which is impressive partially because that's a long run for a cartoon, but also because most people are only teenagers for what, seven years tops? Maybe eight if they're late bloomers. Here to tell us how they've kept Teen Titans Go going so long, please welcome the voices of Raven and Beast Boy, Tara Strong and Greg Sipes, and executive producer, Peter Michael. What's up, guys? Hey. Hello. Waffles, waffles, waffles. Waffles, 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 waffles. I love it. So I got to ask, what's so fun about creating characters or being characters that kind of have no consequences, you guys can do whatever you want. They've kind of like died and come back to life so many times. So what's what's fun about having a series like that? Michael? Well, freedom is the most precious thing you can ever give yourself and Mike and Peter gives us that freedom <laughs> to play. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice to just not be bogged down with any sort of continuity or, <laughs> or anything like that where you can just do whatever is funny. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter what happened in the last episode. That's what keeps it real and keeps it fresh and keeps it funny. Like every time we read a script, we laugh out loud. We're like, this is some <laughs> funny stuff and it's always different. It's always irreverent. It's always crazy. And what's fun about it is it's just fun. Yeah. Like we literally get paid to have fun. We're on, you know, during COVID on a Zoom together, all just playing and having fun and making these cartoons that people love. It's also yeah. educational. Our show is very educational and inspiring. <laughs> we teach about pyramid schemes and... <laughs> All kinds of good stuff. Gold standard. I got to punch President Nixon in the face one time because he took us off the gold standard. Yeah. <laughs> so when it comes to uh, the show in particular, obviously it's like a, 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 a spin-off of the DC universe. Do you guys kind of take what's the live action movies and kind of make like like your own adaptation of it or take kind of like stories from it and then kind of like talk we about it? We were first. We were before live action. Yeah. You know, Teen Titans was a comic book created by George Perez, which we got to... Uh, interview yeah. on our show, The Ship It Show, which was amazing, but it was a comic book for many years and then became a cartoon. The other guys actually copied us. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So there you go, guys. Okay. Me and, Tara, we, me and Tara, we've been playing these characters for 20 years, bringing them to life. Beast Boy and Raven. Yeah, and this this series is actually getting to the point where it's succeeding farther than the original Teen Titans. How does oh, that yeah. feel to like almost be catching? Like your guys are going to be older than they are. How does that feel? <laughs> it's been listen. It's been amazing. I mean, you know, like they're saying, they've been these characters for 20 years now. So it's cool to just be this far down the road and still telling, still able to tell fresh stories, and you know, just just keep on bringing the funny and the weird. We evergreen, yo, evergreen. <laughs> if you could have the ultimate like DC crossover, like what would it be, Michael? Wow. You know what? Uh, D that's hard to answer because it feels like we can kind of do whatever. You know, and like, we have done whatever. Yeah, yeah really. We've already I, made our own yeah. wildest dreams yeah. come true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, there isn't like a character. I mean the. Once you have the Justice League, I mean, that's it, right? That's the A-list of the team. Once you start playing with them, to me, it's it's starting to bring in, like, Detective Chimp and Haunted Tank, like, weird, obscure characters, like 50% Chad. People don't think that that's a real character, but that dude was in a comic book. <laughs> or, or we bring ourselves as Greg yeah. Sipes, Which Tara we did Strong, that, too. And Peter Michael Probably into the point, show. at this point, the only thing that would be left to do is if we did, like, a Marvel crossover. Like, if we crossed those kind of universes. Yeah. What would that be? You well, Miss Minutes would be there. Yeah. Hey, y'all. She'd be there. She'd be. We've <laughs> also done stuff we shouldn't have done, like, brought the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in this show. I got in trouble for that. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you could have any superhero from the Justice League join the show, who would you want to join? From, from the, the from, Justice League. If you were to make your own superhero, like any superhero, who would like forget that your own Justice League? What superhero would it be? Let's start with Peter first. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, well, I'm a I huge Batman so. fan, so to bring Batman into, I mean, he's already in our yeah. world, but if you're talking about joining like join. the, ti the, the Titans, yeah. join. we're not really taking new members right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. we're full of yell. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so what would be the animal that Beast Boy would probably most likely form into, like, at all times? A seagull. A seagull? I think seagulls are the coolest birds on the planet. They hang out at the beach more than any other bird on the planet. <laughs> you just want to poop on everyone. No, they love french fries, yo. Yeah. And they hang out and do yoga at the beach all day long. <laughs> would you probably poop on everybody at the yes, beach? Yes, that's yeah, what he wants. That would yeah. be fun, yo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. You'd love that, wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So after a grueling mission, what is the number one snack the gang will have? So Beast Boy, what would Beast Boy snack on after like 
an awful mission that you were successful in. Vegan pizza, yo. Absolutely. Pizza. Yeah. Well, uh, but like vegan pizza being like cashew cheese vegan pizza? Sure, or yeah. That works. Almond, cashew, any kind of vegan cheese, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about Raven? Yeah, no, she would join him in the vegan pizza party for sure. And then maybe like a waffle vegan ice cream thing for dessert. <gasps> and vegan burritos. Yeah. Vegan burritos. <laughs> Wait, what flavor ice cream? That's the real Ooh. question. Rocky Road, vegan Rocky Road, mm. baby. Or like a chocolate peanut butter caramel. Mm. <laughs> Yo, you make me hungry, mama. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for this interview. Again, yeah. I love the fact that you guys have been going so strong. And let's beat Teen Titans for sure. Let's go a couple more, five more seasons. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. We're going to go on 50 more years and then we start recording. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be like Sir Patrick Stewart. <laughs> Ageless and timeless. Pretty much. That's, right. That's <laughs> how we roll, yo. <laughs> well, thank you guys so, so much. There's more Teen Titans Go later this year. And there's more IGN Live at San Diego Comic-Con all weekend long. Thanks for watching. Thanks Dog for bless you. Us. Dog bless you. <laughs>